Um, alrighty, let's go to our next matchup, and we gotta go to Ravens and the Titans, and we're gonna be watching some fourth quarter drives here by the Ravens and the Titans. Clutch time for Ryan Tannehill. Two possessions here, and he could not do anything with it. So let's first watch. We'll watch. Uh, we'll watch this drive here by the Titans. I mean, 17-13, four-point game in the fourth quarter. Come on, Ryan, step it up. Somebody's got to step it up here for the Titans. You're at home, down against, you know, the Ravens, who you've had a, kind of a rivalry with, you know, the last season and a half ever since that playoff game. Um, so somebody had to step up. Nobody did. So we'll, watch, we'll start with this drive. Then we'll watch the Ravens field goal drive after this drive. And then the Titans final drive after the Ravens drive. You know what I mean? So here we go. Let's try and get this queued up here. Let's get the, uh, get the time. 12-11 in the fourth quarter. Alrighty, I mean, this is fantastic field position too. Look at this. Starting on their own 42-yard line. You basically have to go like 20 yards just to get a field goal. Make it a one-point game. That would be fantastic if you couldn't, you know, capitalize for a touchdown. So here we go. Titans, Ravens. Titans down four. They try to hand it off with Derrick Henry. It's not been working all game. He was held under 50 yards, which is absolutely wild to think about. All right, second and 10 now. Empty backfield for Ryan Tannehill. And look at that, A.J. Brown doing everything himself. Ryan Tannehill dinking this ball like two yards down the field. And then A.J. Brown just picks up the other eight needed for this one. So this is all A.J. Brown. He's trying to step up. Not getting brought down. Trying to get the first. It looks like he may be a yard short. No, they give it to him first and ten. Alrighty, now, I mean, they're over midfield, folks. This is crazy. They try to go back to the run game, and it finally breaks. Oh, it finally broke for eight yards. Finally. It's probably his longest rush of the day, honestly. So why does it stall now? Why does it stall? They're on the 40 of the Ravens. Down four. Second and two now. Ryan Tannehill going deep. Oh, Ryan. That wasn't there. Try to shoot it, but hey, you know, you take a free shot there on second and two. You know, try to stretch the defense vertically so you can come back right up the middle on third and two and pick it up. Let's see what happens here. All righty, third and two. They pass it. Oh, and it's incomplete. It's incomplete to the tight end. Ryan Tannehill just dumping it off. Let's see if we can watch this one again. I mean, the defense just making a big old hit on this man. They make him drop the ball. Oh, man, perfect hit. He had it, went to go secure it, and the hit just jars it loose. Unfortunate. And they punt on this one. See, I don't think I like this call either. I mean, you got to go for it at some point. You know your offense is struggling to really move the ball. You're in prime real estate here at the 40. It's Fourth and two. I think Mike, Fra Mike Vrabel should have went for it here. Relied on your defense to get a stop for only a field goal. And I think it was a mistake punting this ball here. Unfortunate. Got to be a little bit more aggressive here. Fourth quarter, 10 minutes left. You've only put up 13 points all game. And like I've said, you've, struggled been move you've been struggling moving the ball all game. You finally got something decent. Fourth and two. If you can't get two yards, I mean... That, then you deserve to lose, but at least try. Not like in the punting situation here. Alrighty, now let's go to the Ravens next drive. We can just kind of skip past this. So watch this Ravens next drive. I mean, pretty much a clutch drive here as well uh, by the Ravens. Making it a full seven-point game, you know. So now you give your defense, I mean, all that all that extra field to play with. Now they're going out on the field thinking to themselves, "Hey, you know, we can give up a couple of chunk plays. No worries. Just you know, don't give up the long ball." So you know, when you go out on defense with that in your mind, you can play a lot more free. All right, so let's watch this Ravens offense work. I mean, the first play is a 12-yard pickup run off the right side. Classic Ravens football. Very well done here by J.K. Dobbins. 
you can make the you can make the case for J.K. Dobbins for offensive rookie of the year. You can make your case. I may agree with it. I know Justin Herbert's looking real good, but the way that Justin or J.K. Dobbins is like doing very well on a championship level caliber team with other championship level caliber players and he's still getting good production out of them, that speaks volumes in my opinion. All right, let's replay this one um, as we were talking through it. Lamar Jackson going to pass the ball here. Love to see that. Going to Hollywood Brown. A real tight window. And look where Lamar Jackson goes with the ball. It's absolutely perfect, folks. He knows he has to go low and away. Watch this defender here reach all the way down, all the way down to the ground. And it's still not enough. The ball still gets there. Beautiful placement by Lamar Jackson here, folks. He knows what to do with the ball. Um, you know, being open in this league is not easy. So, you know, you have to kind of maneuver, manipulate the ball into tight windows. We get it absolutely perfect here. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Watch this one again from this angle. Holy moly. Look at that. Look at that side arm just enough under the defender's arm. I mean, woo, beautifully done. Beautifully done. Stop disrespecting Lamar Jackson by just calling this man a fucking running back, folks. Truly. Woof, this man can sling it, folks. All right, second and one. Picks up the first. Are they going to give it to him officially? Once again, J.K. Dobbins on the run, picking up the first. Love to see it. All right, here we go. New set of downs. Lamar Jackson back to pass. Wide open. Wide open, Mark Andrews picking up seven yards after the catch, too. Big old tight end, strong, too good. Oh, boy, here we go. We're going to get a big old run by Lamar Jackson here. So let's watch this one. Pistol formation, tight set. Lamar Jackson read option, and he's running literally right up the middle, and he's still not touched for about 10 yards, folks. Let's see the first time he's touched. He's running right up the middle. This is no exaggeration. That's up the middle, and he's not even touched until he picks up the first down 12 yards down the field. I mean, folks, the explosiveness of this man is unreal. He may be the fastest player in the NFL. It's wild to think about. I would like to see him and Tyreek Hill run, race, um, you know, at the same time. I want to see that. I would pay to see that. Alrighty, here we go. Lamar Jackson. Back to pass now. Thinks about it. Decides to run. All right, so... This is now we can knock Lamar Jackson if you want for a second. I think he's got to make this pass right here instead of, you know, pulling it down with the pump fake. It looked like Mark Andrews was wide open for five yards and then he decides to take no yards. So trust his arm a little bit more. Definitely. All right, here we go. Second and 10. They hand it off this time. It picks up about three yards. Now we get third down. So is this why the drive stalled, that kind of first first down play, not picking up anything? All righty, here we go. Third and six, Lamar Jackson. Ooh, throwing it two yards short of the first down. I do not like that, folks. That is my pet peeve. Throw it to the sticks. I get that you're you know, going to a strong tight end and you think that they can just bulldoze their way for two yards. I get it. I get the thinking, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I've seen it time and time again. It does not work all the time. All right, Ravens going for it here on fourth and two. Ballsy. I think the Titans should have done it. The Ravens are doing it here. A little bit more aggressive. Do they actually do it? They do. Oh, and they pick it up. J.K. Dobbins, a flag on the play. Oh, boy. Titans getting bailed out a little bit here. Pass interference on Willie Sneed for the... Um, for the uh, the screen, the pick, and um, Titans getting bailed out. Let's watch this one one more time. Willie Sneed, here he is. <laughs> That's what y'all call. All right, all right. I don't like that. 
bad call there. Real bad out, bail out by the Titans. And, uh, you know, the game probably should have been over at that point. I mean, they probably go down and score a touchdown if they got another fresh set of downs in pretty much the red zone. So, a little bit of a bail out there by the Titans. That was a pickup by J.K. Dobbins on fourth and two. Alrighty, so here we go. This is where we'll leave it off at. Ray or Titans have one more chance. Ryan Tannehill, you can be clutch. You're only down seven. Four minutes left. Three timeouts. You're at your own twenty. Not horrible field position. Not great field position. But this is what you you're at home. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Be clutch. Go win the game for your team. Let's see what he does here. First play, play action. Dumps it off to Derrick Henry for about seven yards. Good play there. Great drive starting play, absolutely. Second and four. Derrick Henry rush up the middle. And the Ravens are still not letting them run all over them. It picks up about two yards, bringing up third and one. Here we go. They decided to run it up the middle. And it's going to be short. They're going to mark him short. So now finally Mike Vrabel goes for it on fourth and one. Really no more time to play around with. And they pick it up finally. I really thought. I mean they picked up you know three yards there. Two yards there. Run this quarterback sneak on fourth and two. You know Ryan Tannehill can pick up a lot of yards. He's lanky. He's long. He can stretch. So they go for it there on fourth and one. Alrighty, let's see if they snap this ball before the two-minute warning. They do. Let's get this play. Tannehill, once again, just, I mean, he's been doing this for as long as we've been watching him. Just dinking it off. Three yards, five yards. These Titans are not challenging the Ravens cornerbacks because they've got some good cornerbacks. I mean, the Titans have good receivers too. A.J. Brown, Corey Davis. And, you know, Corey Davis got no burn. I don't even think he had a catch. He had a couple of targets, but I don't even think he had a catch this entire game, which is unacceptable. It's truly unacceptable. Get your weapons the ball. And Ryan Tannehill did not give all of his weapons the ball. All righty. Second and five. He goes over the middle. And that that's the pick. This is the game. It's unfortunate. You do see the kind of receiver fall a little bit. Let's bring this one up in the coach's film. We'll be able to see a lot more. Did he make the right read? Was that where to go with the throw? How did the receiver slip? Did the receiver slip before or after Ryan Tannehill threw the pass? Is there even coaches film on this play? I'm getting blank here. I'm getting blank. Let's go back to the interception play. All right, here we go. We'll slow this one down. See if we see anything. Where, what were these routes looking like? He's got four wide. We see Derrick Henry. He's just going to be the safety valve here. I'm surprised Ryan Tannehill didn't take the safety valve. That was open, and it probably would have gotten, you know, probably the first down. Alrighty, so this is when Ryan Tannehill's releasing the ball. You see his arm go back. He's about to throw it now. Everything here is covered. This is covered. Even this is covered. I don't really know why Ryan Tannehill tried to force this ball in. You get man coverage here. You get this kind of linebacker, so you have to get it over him. And then you get this safety. He's going to be hawking down here. So Tannehill throws the ball. And as you see, when the receiver tries to come back to it, that's when he falls. So, not horrible on Ryan Tannehill. I don't like the decision even to throw to this man. I really thought this check down was the right, to, right throw to go to. But Tannehill wants to pick up a lot of chunk yards here. And unfortunately, receiver slips and it's just a free pick for the defender. So, unfortunate there by the, or by the Titans. Ravens, very well done. Looking good, looking explosive.